Hi guys, I don't know about you, but one of my favorite things to do is doodle. I love to have notebooks and sketchbooks filled with little pencil drawings and pen drawings with my good old Sharpie here. Uh, and so one of the things I love about Adobe Illustrator is that you can take your doodle sketches and turn them into actual uh, vector artwork inside the program using their image trace feature. I'm gonna demo how, demo how to do this right now using a pen sketch that I'm gonna do with my Sharpie. Let me tilt this down here. And I'm just gonna do a quick sketch on my paper. And it's always fun to work with the Sharpies because they give you this nice solid black line that's gonna be really easy for Illustrator to pick up. So I'm gonna do a little goblin guy here with some pointy ears. We'll give him kind of a angry little mouth. Give him a chin. Some cheekbones right here. Uh, let's give him a little pointy nose. And then I'm going to give him some round eyes like this. Little lizard pupils. He doesn't really have eyebrows, but we'll give him some kind of pointy furrowed brows here. Maybe some little bumps on his head. Some extra lines here just to give him some character. And then let's give him a neck. He's got his little Adam's apple. Kind of scaly looking. All right. I'm pretty happy with that. So what I'm going to do then is take my cell phone and I'm going to grab my video camera. Use just my camera here. And I'm going to snap a quick photo of this. I want to get it pretty much straight on. I want to make sure that there's plenty of lighting so that I can see it. So I might press and maybe brighten up the photo a little bit and then hit snap. And you can see I got a pretty good little photo there of my sketch. Nice and white with black lines. This is going to work perfect. So then what I want to do is send this to my Google Drive. Now I have Google Drive on my phone. So I'm just going to choose Google Drive. I'm going to click the plus button to upload, and then I'm gonna choose that photo from my photo gallery, and boom, you can see that it's already uploaded to my Google Drive. This will allow me to grab it once I log back in to my other computer. Okay, so let's jump over to that computer now. Okay, so now I'm back in Google Drive on my regular computer, and I'm gonna go to Drive and check my recent folder, and there you can see it uploaded my drawing, so I'm gonna go ahead and select that drawing, right click it and choose download, okay? Now that's gonna drop into my downloads bin on my computer, so I just wanna remember that it's there. And now I'm gonna switch over to Adobe Illustrator. Now in Illustrator, uh, it doesn't really matter what size you do this for. Um, I might design this to be something I could use on my phone or a poster. It's up to you. I'm, I think I might do one for a phone right now. So I'm gonna switch over to uh, a Google phone layout you can see that's basically like the home screen of uh, your cell phone. Okay, now I need to bring my sketch in so that I can turn this into a piece of artwork. So I'll go to File, Place. I'm going to navigate to my Downloads folder, and there's my image. And I'll click Place, and you can see it sticks to your mouse until you actually click on the paper. So I'm going to click once. And you can see that this is actually a really big photo. If I zoom out using control minus, this is a pretty big image. I'm gonna just shrink it down so it's a little bit more manageable and fits on my canvas, okay? Once I've got it the right size, control zero will take me back to full screen. Okay, so now that I have my photo selected, I'm gonna come over to the properties tab and look for the quick actions. And one of those quick actions is image trace. If I click image trace, there's several different settings here, and I'm gonna use the black and white logo setting. I'll click okay. And you can see it did a really good job of tracing those black Sharpie lines and turning it into vector art. Now this is just a preview. It hasn't actually done it yet. You, you, this is just so you can check to see how it's turning out. But once it looks good, you're gonna come over here to the quick actions again and click expand. Now what that does is it actually traces every single line in that drawing. And you can see if I zoom in here, it's actually turned it into vector art. And that's super exciting because watch what we can do next. I'm gonna take this 
and I want to ungroup it because right now all the pieces of this drawing are grouped together. So I'm going to click ungroup. And now each part of this drawing is its own individual shape. Now, why is that exciting? Because now I can color it one by one. So watch this. I'm going to take the inside of my little goblin guy's head. I'll come over to my fill color and let's give him kind of a sickly green here. I'm going to grab one of these greens and click OK. And it's going to fill in this. Let me switch my color mode here. There we go. Let's fill in this with that green solid. OK, now I need to do the same for the ear. So I'm going to check the ear. I'll use my eyedropper tool to grab that exact same green. And then I'm going to do the same for the neck down here. Take my eyedropper tool, click that exact same green. If I want to color other parts, the eyes are both separate shapes, so I can grab both of those eyes, come up to my color picker. Let's give them some kind of weird yellowy eyes. There we go. Let's make sure that this is set to CMYK. There we go. And then now I've got all the pieces in place. There is, you can see as I move my mouse around here, it did trace the outside of that photograph as a big white box. So I'm going to just click on that and delete it to get rid of it. And now I've got my character in place. So I can put him here. Let's see. Because he's a vector object, I can scale him up and he's not going to lose any quality. It's like a little cartoon file now. I'll go ahead and put a rectangle here that fills the whole cell phone screen. Let me do this. We'll pull it down so that it fills the whole box. And I'm going to give this a nice bright pink. And then I will right click it and send it to the back. Okay, so now that's going to be my background color. You can experiment with this however you want. And if you even want to change the line art, like if I feel like these lines are too heavy in black, I could switch this and let's just pick like a darker green for his outline. Boom. And you can see now my line art is not quite so heavy. I actually like it with the black, so I'm going to switch back to that black color. You can add text to this. If I come over and grab my text tool, let's scale this up, drop it onto my screen. Let's make sure it's all the way in the front. There we go. And then I can scale this up. I can choose a nice contrasty color. I think I'm going to use white for this and drop it into my design. And now you're well on the way, your way to turning uh, what started off as just a pen sketch into a really fun piece of digital art. Um, you can save this as an Illustrator file and keep coming back to it and work on it. And in future videos, I'll show you how we can even add shadows and highlights to turn this very flat drawing into a three-dimensional piece of digital art. Lots of fun, guys. So get out your pens, get out your paper, sketch, doodle, and make something cool. We'll see you soon. Whoa.